Hi, I'm Nathan Turner. I'm a decorator, shop owner, and lifestyle expert. My friends know how passionate I am about design and cooking, and really about living well. And so that's why we're here today. I'm gonna to bring in some of my favorite people in the design industry. We're gonna cook, have fun, and break it all down. I have Esty Stanley here. She's a very accomplished and talented fashion stylist. She styled some of Hollywood's biggest stars and continues to do so, but she's also moved into the interior world, which I love because what we do is all encompassing. Fashion, kitchen and cooking, interior design, it's all related. It's all how we live. Esty Stanley's in my kitchen. I can't believe it. You know, I have to admit, this is a huge facade. I'm really just doing this whole show to audition to come cook at your restaurant. Please, I'll do anything. First, you've been saying to me for like months is, I just need to find a chef who can make a good bolognese. Yeah, are you doing it I'm today? Making, I, and I've told you, so okay. now today I'm proving it. You better be good. Yeah, now I'm terrified. You should because be. Because you'll tell me. Why didn't it, what is that? That's bacon, pancetta, Italian bacon. Oh God, okay. Do you even know? No, do you even I don't know, know what anything. any of this is? No, I do not know I how to cook. I love that someone who appreciates oh. food so much. And loves food. Is like, what's that? Well, I know that's an onion. <laughs> okay, good. there's a start. Cheese? Cheese. Okay, what's the difference between those the two? Ground pork, Ooh. ground beef. Oh, got it. It's not kosher. Not kosher. Uh-uh. But it's gonna be really good. So I'm okay. gonna give you a couple tasks. Very excited. What do I have to do? No, I'm gonna show you. Make like a dip. All bolognese has like a, a mirepoix, which you know what that is, right? No! You don't, come on! You're like, what? <laughs> it's a French staple for so many different sauces. Got it, okay. And it's celery, carrots, and onion. So I'm gonna have you do the celery. Okay. Really small. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. see how small that is? Yeah. And then. I've never, this is how you're gonna do like a chopping skill like that? You yeah. think I can do that straight away? I don't know how to cook, I told you. I know how to reheat. <laughs> celery. I, I feel like I'm knife. scared I'm gonna cut my hand. So we'll get this mirepoix going. Now what, that cooks. Okay, so this is gonna cook. For how long? You caramelize. That's so a little bit of brown, it's bringing out all the sweetness okay. in the vegetables. About how long does that take? 15 minutes. Do you do a dash of salt? Oh look, here oh, comes yeah, the dash. Look. Watch. Here's the dash. I want you to get a feeling of what a dash is. Is that so a dash? Do, yeah. So do oh, some pepper. A dash? Yeah. So I'm gonna take about six cloves. And I just do this because I want like a really nice dice. I'm just gonna keep going over and then bring it back in and chop. See, it's loose in my kitchen. I, you know, I forgot the like garlic, you. but loose, yeah. That's nice. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want to tell America. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this oh in. You have to schlep that block every time. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's actually not. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna move on to the meat side. So I'm just gonna, I know you don't wanna do this. At all. But no. do you like bacon? Sometimes. This is pancetta. What do you mean sometimes? Like, I don't know, like sometimes when I watch what you're doing, I'm not that interested in it anymore, but once I feel like it's cooked, I'll eat it. I'm taking all the meat, and then we're gonna go to this other pan, olive oil in the pan. Okay. And let's get this going. Do you eat meat every day? No, I don't, but I'm like, my family has a cattle ranch, you know right. what I mean? I'm like. California cattle people. If I was like had a fulfilled life and it was, you know, I would say, Esther, cut me up and put me in a pan. I'm fine with it. When I first met you like a hundred years ago, you were Thanks. really, you were a fashion I'm actually a stylist. vampire, yeah. I still am And stylist. you still are. Yes. Do you like them both equally? Or? I think it just depends on the client, right? I could have one house client that's so amazing and we had the best time, mm -hmm. and then you could have a styling client that wasn't like, I don't, I feel blown at, and you're like, what, what? <laughs> Be quiet. Let me take on. my dress off right. and show you bloat. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Like, but I love both, obviously, or I wouldn't be and doing it And do you have so a long. lot of clients that you do both, like everything yes, for? Yeah, yeah, You're like the HBIC of their life. Yeah. Like, they, you do their house. All of it. Dress them. Parties. Parties. All of it. Buy gifts for their wives, buy gifts for and them. That, I actually like that. I, I love mean, doing that. That's my favorite. it's weird, but it's I kind love of, it. My favorite is like when you see the wife, she's like, oh my God, look at what so-and-so bought me. I'm like, mm -hmm, like it's amazing. I, mean, I was there. <laughs> You want it that really great, dense, yeah, thick Yeah, it actually looks sauce. like not cute at all right now. <laughs> no. 
If this was a house, it would be like, the not even before you started construction, no. it's when you went to see the client it with all the their bad stuff in it. It was still. the foreclosure. <laughs> This is foreclosure. Oh, I'm gonna add in our, what is okay. it What is it called? Uh, oh God. Come on. You made me spell it, which I think it's spelled wrong. Mirapod. In the meantime, I'm gonna start boiling our pasta. Okay. Is that cast iron too? Yeah. Um, wait, so what are you working on? Um, my sex life. I'm just kidding. Um, Again, you're still, you guess, guys are still working still, on that? Still, 10 years later. <laughs> I'm working on this really beautiful house in Hancock Park that I think I told you about Oh, before. the big giant Spanish. Yeah, it's That's so amazing. beautiful. It's like all original. I've never seen windows like this except for like literally in Italy. Look at how good that Delish. looks. Delish. I mean. Now when you start something <laughs> that's a major thing, like where do you start? What's your process? What's well, the first like two weeks, I went there like three times each week and just walked through for hours with the client. Well, don't you think for a decorator to come to something that has like real architecture, especially in this town, it's, it's just like, like yeah, it's like yeah, heaven. Because like every time you went, there was like a different Some, room, mm -hmm. a different like secret room, a safe room. Like, so you know, it takes a while because number one, you don't want to ruin it, but right. it obviously has to be a little updated. Like the whole home was yellow. Yellow kind of faux finish. <laughs> yeah, but that's then my, my I worst. Hate. Why do there are more colors on the Mediterranean yellow. scale than yellow? It's terrible. You know what I mean? So we painted everything inside. You're like, so I changed it to dark yellow. So we changed it to white. <laughs> right. Thank Did God. You think? Everything's white. Clean, crisp, Clean, crisp doesn't look dirty anymore. I think what I really think is the most important thing that I think a lot of maybe decorators don't do is they don't use every single inch of the home. Okay. I think a lot of houses are very precious and you walk in okay. there and it's very like a formula and it's like you don't want to go in that room ever and yeah. you know no one goes in that room ever. Right. Like I'm the opposite of that. Like I want even if you have like it. a room this big, I'm gonna make sure Do you're going in it. there for sure. I love that. I just want to party in every room and oh I want God. people to party in every, you know what I'm you, saying? By the way, it's so fun to come over to your house. Thank you. I'm just gonna it's eat so it. It's so fun whether I'm it's so like, over you right oh now, God. I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> you're like, what? You made me cook and now I'm eating. All right, we're not come even on, doing the Come on, just do it balls. now, for what? I'm so scared. This is my restaurant dry out. Let me see. Mmm. That's really good. Oh, good, right? Yeah. That's delicious. You might be getting hired. You might be shutting down your store. Could you imagine? That'd be the funniest ever, by That the would way. just be the next show. You screaming us at screaming, it. No, us screaming ah. at each other. <laughs> us screaming at each other. You like it? Mm-hmm. Wait, before you go. Oh, my God. Wipe your face. And okay, we're going to take on. a selfie. OK, selfie. Oh, my God. Don't, be normal. This was super fun, thank you.